Well, hello, my friends in Facebook land. Um, I'm in Heloniac. So, this beautiful little building, it's about 1845. But there was St. Andrew's Parish, 1845, with the Reverend Andrew Jamieson. And he was an Anglican, but he preached over on that island. And, of course, in the little town of Aloniac. And uh, one of the reasons I'm bringing this, besides another plug for this companion Bible, but I'll put that in in a minute. So we are literally, if I just swim out there, I'm in Canada. Yeah, that close. Now, the interesting thing is, right there, that little brick building, well, that is a point of entry. And there's a ferry that will take you right across to Canada. Now, not the island, that's a little island. That's Canada, right over there. And yeah, I could swing it with a swim, but uh, you can get out of the United States. I could go over there, easy, take the ferry, I'm there. Problem is, I ain't getting back without the jab. Something to think about, because they say that uh, our constitution is still in effect. Well, you've got the Nuremberg Codes, which specifically prohibit the federal government from doing what they're doing right now, which is mandating something that's health oriented. So I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this slightly overcast day up here, right on the border of Canada in Aloniac. I think that's how you say it, Michigan. Now this, I told you I'm gonna put a plug in it. This is the Companion Bible, which is a King James Bible. And the difference is what you've got here in all the pages, take the Psalms for instance, 92, so the King James portion. And now you have all of E.W. Bullinger's amazing notes. So it's like a synops synopsis of the entire verse, passage, chapter, and then his breakdown, verse by verse. And this goes through to everything. Notes. It is an excellent study Bible. And then, of course, you have the appendices to the Companion Bible. Now, why do I bring this up? Well, it's time to study. Now, in fairness or indifference to Bullinger, Bullinger was one of the early 1800s um, theologians, but he had <laughs> a propensity for the gap, G-A-P theory, which means that uh, in the beginning period, and then God recreated, there ain't no gap, people. There's no gap. This was done in what we can term six days, but that was by God's time. And those days, if we were alive and standing, <laughs> might have been billions and billions of years. So is the universe approximately 15 billion years old? Yes, it is. Six time units God created. Now from Adam to us, yeah, that's about 7,000 years. That's pretty exact because there's a timeline, not only in Genesis, of Adam and his genealogy, but also if you look at Matthew, Matthew goes all the way back from Mary, Jesus' mother, through the Holy Spirit, back to Adam. Pretty cool. Anyway, another little view, Alognac. Pretty little house too, by the way. 1800s would have been a very cool time to have been alive, but we're here now for a reason. God bless you all.